Hey, it's Crash Power. This video deals with one of the elemental staffs in the Call of Duty Zombie Map Origins. The Staff of Lightning, or the Purple Staff. This video covers everything from assembly, upgrading. It's going to show you every location that anything that you might need to build it would be. And all the information you need to be able to successfully upgrade it to the Kitsman's Light. It allows you to shoot a bigger, slower moving bolt of lightning, which will chain more zombies than the unupgraded version of the Staff of Lightning. And if you have any questions, of course, please leave comments below. First off, this Wonder Weapon is buildable, unlike some of the previous Wonder Weapons like the Blundergat or the Paralyzer that you had to get out of the Mystery Box in previous zombie maps. Here's a list of everything you'll need to assemble the Staff of Lightning. You'll need to collect the Gramophone, the Black Record, Purple Record, all three Lightning Staff parts, and the Lightning Elemental Gem. Now the first thing we're going to show you is how to get the Gramophone. It's not the first thing you have to get. But uh, it's down here underneath the pack of punch. It'll either be in that location or on the right of this desk. Now, you won't be able to open the chamber to load to assemble it until you collect the black record, which is located around the excavation site. There are three possible locations that the black record could be. First of all, it could be behind the excavation site sign there. Or it could be as you enter the excavation site on the rocks in this wheelbarrow, and finally, the third location it could be is behind the excavation site on your way to the church, right here. Now, you'll also need to collect the purple record. The purple record is located near Generator 4 in one of three places, either on this wagon near the Generator 4 entrance, on this table next to the Dear Wonder Fuzz machine at Generator 4, or on the other side of this wall at the bottom of the wind tunnel on the right it'll be located on top of a generator right here now the reason you need the purple record is because it allows you to open the lightning portal to the cha to the crazy place or chamber of the ancients uh, that tunnel is underneath generator 5 uh, where the stamina perk machine is simply take the gramophone with the purple record put it on the table and it will open this portal for starts you need to be able to gain access to the lightning portal to collect the lightning elemental gem. You have to go through this portal to be able to get it. And this is the only time it matters what color portal you go through. Now once you're down here in this chamber you need to approach the lightning pedestal and since you came into the purple portal it will raise up and allow you to get the lightning elemental gem. Now before you can assemble the staff of lightning you need to also get the three staff parts which are located in various parts of the map that are normally not accessible unless you use the tank to jump over to them. So you'll need to ride the tank located in the basement of the church and jump off at certain locations throughout the map to collect these three staff pieces. The uh, first staff piece is located uh, down at the bottom of the map after you pass Juggernaut. It's right over here. If you look ahead, you'll see this uh, platform I need to jump onto to be able to collect that piece. This is the only way you can get to this area. Simply jump over, and now you can get to the area where you can collect the first piece of the Staff of Lightning. The tank will stop at the bottom of the map to cool down before it can traverse back to the church. Now, once it's ready to go, you and a friend will need to get on the tank or your friend can get on the tank midway up near the excavation site, but I've never been able to collect both pieces in one trip by myself. So it's easier to have a friend with you if you can. If you're a solo player, you'll have to loop around again to get it. Second piece is over here in the excavation site. You'll need to jump off the left side of the tank onto this ramp, like so. And there is the second staff part. The third and final staff part is right here on the side of the church as the tank enters the basement you'll be able to jump onto this ramp go into the side entrance of the church and now you have all three staff pieces it's the staff of lightning along with the uh, lightning elemental gem you'll be able to assemble the staff uh, at the bottom of the excavation site as long as you've uh, used the gramophone and the black record to open that area up.
Now that you've assembled the Lightning Staff, you'll want to upgrade it. And the first step to upgrading the Lightning Staff is solving two puzzles, the first of which is located down in the crazy place. You can use any of the four portals to get there. Once you're in the crazy place, you'll need to go to the Lightning Section, or the purple area, where you'll find uh, two rows of purple triangles. They represent a keyboard. If you look over to your left here, you'll see three staves of music, basically musical notes that make up three separate chords. To solve the puzzle, you have to figure out what notes they are and play them like they're on a keyboard by shooting the corresponding keys with the lightning staff. Here is an example of what it was if this was an actual keyboard, but to make it easier, I just number them left to right, one through seven on the bottom. You don't use any of the sharp keys whatsoever. Now here are the keys that you need to hit to make the three separate chords. First we're going to shoot keys 1, 3, and 6 with the lightning staff. The next chord you'll shoot the odd number keys 3, 5, and 7. Finally even number keys 2, 4, and 6. Now that you know what keys to press, we're going to have my friend Travis go ahead and show you how it works. He's going to shoot keys 1, 3, and 6 with the lightning staff. Now, keep in mind, you have to use the lightning staff, not a regular weapon like the sniper rifle. <laughs> but um, if you make a mistake or shoot the wrong key, don't worry. You can start all over again. Once all three chords have been played correctly, you'll get an audio cue, and Samantha will signify that the riddle has been solved. Once you've solved the puzzle in the crazy place, you'll need to return to the original part of the map and start working on the second puzzle. The second lightning snap puzzle requires you to manipulate some of the eight different electrical boxes scattered across the map. They'll have a uh, knob you can turn that's shorted out on it. It'll be uh, sparking like that and making a noise. You just walk up to it, hit the action button to turn it until it quits uh, making the sparking noise. Now, the good news is they're always in the same order. The first which here is always at generator 5. Here's a list of where they actually are. I'll tell you exactly where they are and then we'll go through and show you as we uh, shut off each one of them. We already showed you where the first one is. The second one is on the wall behind the stairs at the basement of the church. Then the third one is upstairs in the church to the left of its mystery box location. The fourth panel is near generator 4 just to the right of the wind tunnel entrance. The fifth one will be down near generator 1 on the wall leading from the bottom floor of the spawn to the upper level. Then the sixth one is to the left of the back exit of the bunker next to generator 2. Oh, and why I'm thinking about it. Uh, keep an eye out for the robot when you're turning the one near uh, generator 4. <laughs> you can get smushed. Also, every once in a while, some of the knobs don't spark. But they do make that sound, so you know you're at the right place to turn the knob. And the final one is on the rock wall outside the excavation site, right across from the pathway that leads to the church and you'll know when you've done all seven correctly because it'll make the same audible noise that it did at the end of the first puzzle. Oh, also, if you're keeping count, I've only listed seven, and at the beginning I said that there are eight electrical panels. You never have to mess with one the top floor of the workshop on the way to no man's land. It never goes off. It's right there. So, uh, now we'll head to the last electrical panel, and we'll let you hear what happens when we turn the knob. Come on, Travis. <laughs> All your effort will soon be rewarded. Uh, just out of curiosity, does anyone know what the reward is? Uh, I mean, we don't, we can, you know, you can get more perks, but the Easter egg and letting her go doesn't have anything to do with it. Is the reward just not having to listen to her whine anymore? I mean, <laughs> All right, now that we've completed both puzzles, we do the next to last step in the upgrade process. We go to the bottom of the excavation site where there is now a lightning orb. You'll need to line the four disc above the lightning orb to match the color of the staff, which is purple, using the four switches around those discs. 
Once you've done that, you take the lightning staff and shoot that orb. It'll cause the ball to fly into the air and go to the crazy place. Once done, you're now ready for the last step to upgrade your lightning staff. Since Travis is the one that actually has the lightning staff, he's going to shoot the orb. You'll see the four disc lights up and there the orb goes. Whenever you're ready to do the final step, take the lightning staff down to the crazy place. You'll need to place the entire staff into the lightning pedestal. In this example, I'm playing a solo game and I've already placed two staffs in the respective pedestals. You can upgrade more than one staff at a time. You just have to get kills somewhere in the crazy place and all the souls from the zombies you kill power up the staffs until they're upgraded. So what I'm doing, or well, <laughs> what I'm trying to do is the fire staff uh, puzzle at the same time, but I'm uh, having problems getting over to the uh, uh, fire area of the crazy place. But as long as I'm killing zombies anywhere down here in the crazy place, those souls are powering up whatever staffs are in their pedestal. Whether you have one staff in or all four, it just depends on what you want to do. And actually, I've already powered up one. The lightning staff is ready. When you power up one of the staffs, you get notified at the upper left-hand corner of the screen. I failed to mention it when it happened. It looks like this. If you look at your scoreboard, you can tell if a staff is upgraded. It'll have a red outline around it. Oh, the ice staff is ready. Let's see if we can hear Samantha. See, I'm making so much noise, it's really, really hard to hear. So if you're down here busy killing zombies, you don't hear Samantha, and you miss the cue on the screen, you know, your staff is done. <laughs> you can always hit the back button on your controller, look at the scoreboard. If your staff's ready, it'll be highlighted in red. Now, let's go get our upgraded staff. We'll get the kits mitts bites. There we go. We're all done. Oh, I forgot to mention, after upgrading, uh, this weapon gains a secondary attachment called the, and I know I'm going to mispronounce this, Skitmat's Vigor. You can activate it by pressing left on the D-pad. It flips the staff around, and you can use it to revive a downed teammate instantly. The Vigor is a slow-moving ball which will travel in a straight line, so it's recommended to make your shots count because it's very easy to miss a teammate when you're trying to revive him with this attachment. And last but not least, the Kitsmat Bite has a melee attack that involves swiping with the spikes of the head of the staff. It's a one-hit kill until round 16. However, if you already have your Thunder Fist equipped, the Thunder Fist overrides the uh, staff melee attack. And, of course, Thunder Fist is a one-punch kill until round 19. Uh, and, of course, you can upgrade your Thunder Fist to Iron Fists. But I'm not going to talk about that. No! <laughs> Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, please let me know. And special thanks to Travis for helping me out. I'm Crash Power. Bye-bye.